Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video on the gradient of a curve. In this video, we're going to look at how to use differentiation to find the gradient of a curve at a particular point. Now, that can be really useful, whether it's to find the equation of a tangent to a curve at a particular point, or even the equation of the normal to the curve at a particular point. Now, before you watch this video, I highly recommend you watch two of our videos on Corbett Mavs. They are an introduction to differentiation, and in that video, I show you how to approximate the gradient of a curve at a particular point by considering the gradients of chords. And then um, I also, in that video, show you how to find dy by dx by considering first principles. And then the second video to watch is a video called Differentiation, which shows you how to differentiate, in other words, how to find dy by dx. Now, in this video, we're going to look at how to find the gradient of a curve at a particular point. And to do that, first of all, we find dy by dx by differentiating. And then you substitute in the x-coordinate, so whatever the x-coordinate is of the point where you want to find the gradient. You substitute that into dy by dx, and that will tell you the gradient of the curve at that point. And that will also be the same as the gradient of the tangent at that point also. Okay, so... Our first question. Our first question says, a curve has equation y equals x squared plus 3x plus 1. And the question says, find the gradient of the curve at the point two, minus 2 minus 1. So to do that, what we're going to do is first of all find dy by dx. So we're going to differentiate. So dy by dx equals, we're differentiating, we're bringing the 2 down. So it's going to be 2x and reducing the power by 1. Well, the power is 2. When you reduce that by 1, you get a power of 1. But we don't need to write that. Differentiating 3x will be plus 3, and differentiating 1 will be 0, so we can just leave our dy by dx as 2x plus 3. Now to find the gradient of the curve at that point, minus 2, minus 1, we just need to substitute in the x-coordinate this negative 2. So dy by dx, so at x equals minus 2, dy by dx will equal, well, 2 times x, so that's 2 times negative 2, and then plus 3. 2 times negative 2, that's negative 4, plus 3, that's going to be equal to negative 1. So the gradient of the curve at the point minus 2 minus 1 would be equal to minus 1. Also, that would be the same as the gradient of the tangent at that point. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, a curve has an equation, y equals x cubed minus 5x squared plus x minus 4. And we've been asked to find the gradient of the curve at the point where x equals 1. So this question is a little bit different. Rather than being a quadratic, the question gives us a cubic. Also, in this question, rather than giving us the coordinates as minus 2 minus 1, we've just been given the x coordinate of x equals 1. And that's great because that's all we need anyway. So let's find dy by dx. So dy by dx, so we're going to differentiate. So differentiating x uh, cubed, bringing the 3 down, so that's 3x squared. And then differentiating minus 5x squared, so bringing the 2 down would be minus 10x. And then reducing the power by 1 will just be minus 10x. Differentiating a plus x, so that's plus 1x, so differentiating that would be plus 1. And differentiating the minus 4, that would just be 0. And we've been asked to find the gradient of the curve at the point where x equals 1. So at x equals 1 dy by dx will equal, we're substituting 1 into this dy by dx will give us 3 times 1 squared minus 10 times 1 plus 1. And when we work that out, well, 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3. We're going to subtract 10 times 1, and that's going to be subtracting 10, and then we're going to add 1. And when we do that, well, 3 subtract 10 is negative 7, plus 1 would be negative 6. So the gradient of the curve at the point where x equals minus 1 would be equal to negative 6. Okay, our next question. Our next question this time, we've been given a curve and it's got the equation y equals brackets x minus 6 brackets x plus 1. And we've been asked to find the gradient of the curve at the point 3, negative 12. So in this question, we're going to need to expand the brackets first of all to find the equation of the curve. So let's expand x squared plus x minus 6x, so that's going to be minus 5x. And then minus 6 times 1 will be minus 6. And then we're going to find dy by dx. We're going to differentiate to find the gradient function. So when we differentiate, we get the gradient function, which is dy by dx. And that is bringing the power down 2x subtract 5. And then to find the gradient at a particular point, we just need to substitute in the x coordinate. And the x coordinate here is 3. So at x equals 3, dy by dx will equal, well, 2 times 3 and then subtract 5. And 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Subtract 5 would be equal to 1. So at the point 3, negative 12, on this curve, y equals x minus 6, x plus 1, the gradient of the curve would be equal to 1. Okay, our second last question. 
Our second last question is a little bit different this time. Um, this time we've been given is we've been given the equation of the curve. So let's read the question. The point A lies on the curve with equation y equals x squared minus 4x plus 9. So it's a quadratic, a u-shaped quadratic. And the gradient of the curve at the point A is equal to 8. So we know that the gradient of the curve at a particular point is 8. And that means it's obviously going to be on the right-hand side here because the gradient is positive. It's going up. So it's over here somewhere. And we've been asked to find the coordinates of the point A. So what we know, we know the gradient of the curve at that point is 8. So in other words, we know dy by dx is equal to 8. So what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate to get the gradient function. So we're going to differentiate. So dy by dx equals, so bringing the power down will be 2x subtract 4 whenever we differentiate this. But we know that the gradient is equal to 8. So what we're going to do is we're going to write 2x minus 4, and we're going to put that equal to 8. And when we solve that, we will get the x-coordinate. And then once we get the x-coordinate, we'll put it in and get the y-coordinate. So let's solve that. So 2x equals, adding 4 to both sides, 12. And dividing by 2, x equals 6. So the x-coordinate is equal to 6, so 6. Now we just need to find out what the y-coordinate is. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute the 6 into the equation of the curve. So y equals 6 squared minus 4 times 6 plus 9. And when we do that, we get y equals, well, 6 squared is equal to 36. Subtract 4 times 6, well, 4 times 6 is 24 plus 9. So y equals 36 take away 24 is equal to 12 plus 9 is 21. So that would be 621 and that's the coordinates of the point A. So if you know the gradient of the curve at a particular point, if you find a dy by dx, which is the gradient function, you can put that equal to the gradient and then solve it and you'll be able to find the point or looking at our next example, the points where the gradient is equal to that particular um, where the gradient is equal to that particular value. And our last question. Our last question says the points A and B lie on the curve with equation y equals x cubed subtract 5x squared minus 35x. So it's a cubic, it will look something like this. And we know the gradient at the particular points A and B is equal to 13. Now if we look at this curve, we've got positive gradients here then the gradient is zero. Then we've got negative gradients. The gradient then becomes zero again, and then we've got positive gradients. So it's possible to have a point over here and a point over here where they have the, the A and the B where the gradient is equal to 13. So the question says, find the coordinates of the point A and B. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna differentiate. So dy by dx is equal to three x squared, bringing the three down, uh, reducing the part by one as well, subtract, bringing the two down, minus 10 x, subtract 35. That's what we get when we differentiate. So the gradient function dy by dx is equal to 3x squared minus 10x minus 35. But we know the gradient of the curve at the point a and b, the points a and b is equal to 13. So we're going to put this equal to 13. So 3x squared minus 10x minus 35 is equal to 13. Now we're going to solve this. So let's subtract 13 from both sides. 3x squared subtract 10x subtract 48 is equal to 0. And then we're going to factorize this. So bracket, 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 bracket. Hopefully it factorizes. It might be the quadratic formula. Um, obviously I've made this for a video, so I'm hoping I haven't chosen a question where I'm going to need to use the quadratic formula. Okay, so hopefully this factorizes. So we're going to go for 3x and x. We obviously want it to be the two numbers to multiply together to give you minus 48. And we want whenever we expand the brackets to get a negative 10x. So I'm thinking, well, if we put a 6 there, that's going to be 18. And then if we put an 8 there, that would give us 8. And 8 times 6 is 48. We make that negative, that would be minus 18 plus 8, that'd be minus 10, perfect. So that's it factorized. So then let's get our values for x. So obviously our first bracket, we would have 3x plus 8 is equal to 0. So that means that x would be equal to minus 8 thirds. Or looking at the second bracket, x would be equal to 6. So now that we've got our x values of x equals negative 8 thirds and x equals 6, we can substitute those two values into our equation the y equals x cubed subtract 5x squared minus 35x, and we'll find our y values. Now, these aren't that pretty. Whenever you do that, that's going to be good. That will give us y equals 1048 over 27 for the first value of y. And whenever x equals 6, we get that y is equal to minus 174. So as coordinates, a and b would be, 
negative 8 thirds and 1048 twenty sevenths and b would be 6 and negative 174 and that's it so if you want to find the gradient of a curve at a particular point you just differentiate it and find dy by dx and you substitute in the x value the x coordinate and if you know what the gradient is at a particular point you want to find the, that coordinate then you differentiate and you put it equal to the gradient and you can solve it and get the coordinate and that's it